That's my intro. Yeah, so I'm on Nation 11 now. I went ahead and did the migration, join uh, Phoenix Rising. Uh, I'm on Nation 11. A lot of people asking, why would I migrate? The biggest reason is Nation 9 was just too small of a population. Um, it was making it very difficult for Lost Lands, uh, Crystal Battle, more importantly, uh, server versus server. So um, I had to do the migration. So here's what we know. First and foremost, migration is expensive. <laughs> that's that's the first thing. Like I, when you look at this, it doesn't it doesn't really look at it at first glance. You, I mean, you can't really tell on first glance. But uh, you know, they give you a bunch of things you need to be able to do. Your town center level fifteen plus, greater than fifteen. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, it got to be some some migration slots available on the nation you're going to. The nation you're going to has they're gonna set the the how low your, your your sound could be, but you know, anytime it, the the highest they could put it is twenty five, but that's the highest we can go. So that just praise basically mean once you're over fifteen, most servers you'll be able to go to, unless they set the minimum to be at twenty five, and then mostly everyone on the older nations are going to be twenty five. Um, you can't be in an alliance, you can't be the mayor. Uh, target nation requirements set by the mayor, you know. As I just mentioned, after each migration, you will have to wait 30 days to migrate again. That's very important. You are currently not in an account or character deleted deletion process. Um, you are not participating in the top challenge event. The strongest nation event is not ongoing in your current nation. The nation you're in, you, they can't at that time be uh, in the current nation. The event progress varies from one nation to another. So the migration may reset the progress of your event ranking and clear your data of some events. Claimable rewards will be set via mail, but ranking rewards cannot be obtained. All the resource item builders, tech, heroes, and soldiers within your territory will remain the same, which is not true. That definitely is not true. Again, it says all the resources, items, buildings, tech, heroes, and soldiers within your territory will remain the same. As a prime example, you guys already know, I unlocked Justice um, on this nation number 11, which is only two nations past nine. Um, justice is not locked. Now, it's going to be interesting. I really wasn't keeping tabs on how much uh, XP and how much Starlight I had. So I don't know if they returned any of that to me you know starlight is possible they could have returned the starlight to me at 2.7 million starlight but i don't know because I, I don't use my starlight that often as soon as i get a hero i max them out to five because five star because i'm amassing starlight all the time and i'm pretty sure the xp was not returned 207 million uh, i'm not sure if that's going to be enough to get uh justice up to level four i mean 54 but if he even if, i mean 44 but even if it's enough to get the level 44 i still was amassing a lot of xp in between that and not only you know not only that but um it costs a hundred dollars just to get to the amount of migrations you're gonna need man it costs a hundred dollars you're gonna have to buy two of these migration packs you're gonna have to buy two of those because you need 20 of these actual migration vouchers in order to be able to migrate Unless the, it could, it's possible that it's different depending on what nation, but it, it calls me 20 to move to nation 11. Um, also, the, the other thing was that my dark dungeon was very defective. It was very, very, very defective. What I mean by defection, defective is this. I'm constantly just trying to attack this mind. So you can see his health is down to a smidget and I'm, 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 uh, healing uh, uh uh heroes and going back into attacking them and i just cannot beat them they just would not let me beat them i do not know what that is about as you see he healed himself which mines does heal himself i'm only up to nightmare nightmare level um so like that's just what it was i was attacking with everybody and no matter how much i attacked them 
it did not let me defeat him. You know what I mean? So, like, that was just very weird. You know, I get his health down. I even used my minds, like, tried everything possible. It would not let me defeat him. I don't know if it's because uh, maybe the timing of the Dark Dungeon on this nation as opposed to the nation that I was on. Or it could be some type of glitch that's going on that I did not know about. But it was seriously a problem for me. Um, the other thing is, you know, like here, uh, Shadow Tower got me ranked number one as completing it first. My only reason I could, I could assume that that happened is because um, I obviously finished it before Nation 11, which is maybe two to four weeks after Nation 9. So, you know what I mean? They just put me at number one because I finished it before anyone finished it here, which ranked me as number one for that event i didn't check to see what's here uh well they they, they finished the the uh, the bloodthirst ranking before me i guess i haven't really been focusing on my my um heroes for arena and campaign i've been focusing on more for pvp but that's one of the things that also happened something else that happened that was that was the least to uh, some benefit was that uh, the pass reset automatically i had um uh utilize my whole pass to get the justice shards and you know they're giving jeff shards right now and when i came to this nation the pass reset so if i want to i can go ahead and get some more of the of the of jeff shards so that was one thing to my benefit i didn't check let me uh check real quick also what reset it was you know uh the weekly special reset it and the monthly special reset it the first one, you know, I always get those because I get the magic coin, which I'm going to get today. I do want to check to see which one was it. The hero deal. It was the hero recruitment. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. OK, so that reset it also. I didn't know that I'm going to I'm going to probably get that. I, I don't need Susanna anymore because she's max. I will be uh, focusing on um, on Yuri. Especially since I can't get uh, justice, but I'm going to focus on maxing out his skill, especially his number one. I max out the three before the one, but if anyone uh, needs to understand, the one actually gives more march capacity than the three. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm sorry, I'm bugging. The the uh, the one gives more march capacity than the two. So you know what I mean? At max, the two gives eight thousand troop march capacity, and the one at max is going to give 8,840, you know what I mean? You know, plus the hero level adds an extra 100 also. So, um, yeah, those are some of the things that happened with the migration. And as, as I said to you, the justice thing, I did not like. The other thing that, that occurred was the milestones. You know, these ended, I couldn't get them. But as you can see, the ones that say complete, when I came to this nation, it gave me the rewards again for these milestones. So that was an extra benefit for the ones that, you know, I got the other ones when I was on my nation. But when I came here, it gave me the rewards for some of the other ones that were on this nation. I don't know if they just didn't get those or, or whatever. Um, I chose 11 because, um, one, I, had, I was going to go to 56. But they didn't they didn't give me that range. And I had multiple people on Discord and on YouTube request that I come to 11. We had just faced them at SVS. It was a really good battle and they were a very active server. And so you know, I, I, I had to choose between a small list and I needed to go somewhere that just had more people. So I went ahead and came to 11. So my overall uh, view on the migration process was I'm happy that I'm on another server. However... I'm not happy with not having justice. Everybody know how thrilled I, I was about about him. I don't know what's going on with the Shadow Tower. And um, hopefully they'll give us some information based on that as I'm going to send in a report about that. But uh, if you're thinking of migrating, man, it's, more, it's, it's harder than what you think. One last thing. There is a way to migrate for free. It will take approximately 20 weeks. The way of doing that is going to your prestige shop. Oh. oh, I'm going to have to choose a new clan. Wow, didn't know that. So uh, when you go to your... Oh, I can't... Can I do it from here? Let me see. Yeah, I don't have a clan, so... 
it's not gonna let me let let me do it. So I'm gonna go to uh, who did I choose before? Uh, you gotta choose a new clan as well. And that's for Rato. So you're gonna have to choose a new clan as well. In the store, you will be able to get a migration voucher here, but the restore re refreshes every week, so you'll be able to get one. And then in 20 weeks, you'll be able to migrate to another server. That's that's a way to do it for free. Uh, video is way longer than I expected. You guys enjoy your day. I'll have another video out coming out on Wednesday. Like, comment, rate, subscribe.